I put $3,600 in a savings bank in 1994, and then this happened. Welcome to Silver Heist. Thank you to our returning subscribers and guests. We're a channel that likes to buy physical gold and silver, and we like a coin with a good story. If you like those things, please subscribe. Today, we're going to look at a time capsule. If you're not familiar with this, this is a passbook savings account from a bank. This was after ATM machines and debit cards were introduced, but this is an old low-tech savings tool. And so what I'm going to do is I put $3,600 in a savings account in 1994. I want to show you the impact of another ancient phenomenon, interest income. If you place a certain amount of money in a savings bank, what could that have grown to over time? But we're also going to consider inflation. So let's also consider how gold would have performed during that same period. Okay, so in November 1994, I had over $3,600. I was for savings. I placed it in a bank. What we're going to do is look at an actual record on when did I pull the money out of savings? What had it grown to? And then we want to start with the same starting line. At a minimum, how much did it need to grow to? To at least keep pace with inflation and then if we had poured the same amount of money into gold how would that have performed up to that point so we kept it until April 1998 so not super short term not just a couple of months but quite a few years all right so at that moment in time Gold was $384 an ounce. So that sounds pretty promising. So who wouldn't want $3,600 in gold when it only cost $384 an ounce? So that's going to come out to be about nine and a half ounces. So to keep up with inflation, we would need $3,900. So in that short span of time, in four years, and all I can really remember about the 90s is that I think the economy was getting stronger and the dot-com bubble of the S&P 500 was starting to accelerate. Unfortunately, gold was trading at $309 an ounce. So in terms of keeping up with inflation at that time or just being a safe place to park and retain your short-term savings, your $3,600 would have turned into $2,900. This is just one anecdote, but this is why I don't see silver or gold as a short-term savings account for two or three months, but even four years is too short a time horizon for ups and downs in the gold market. So in that four year period, that certificate of deposit grew to $4,300. Now this was a little surprising when I came back and I did the lookup on the inflation. So I was getting um, 6%. I was getting 6% interest on this account and inflation was in the 2 to 3% range. So even a safe bank account was not only keeping pace with inflation, 
it was outstripping inflation. But gold in a short time horizon did not. But in a longer time horizon, 2020, now unfortunately, I don't have a way of projecting that savings forward because I don't know what the interest rates were between 1998 and 2020. But I can say that to keep up with inflation, I would need that 3,600 to grow to 3,900, and then I would need that to grow to 6,200. But, like I said, we have about 9.45 ounces of gold. So, <laughs> where is gold today? So gold today is trading in the low 1900s, 1942, an ounce. So we've got nine plus ounces. So this has grown quite handsomely to $18,300. So far outstripping inflation. Same starting line, effects of inflation, you need to at least keep up with this number to keep pace with inflation. And instead of it being worth $6,000, you have 18,000. So for a short, and four years doesn't seem short, but it's short enough, not great for saving, when you might need it for a down payment or some other short-term savings or emergency savings, but great for much longer-term wealth preservation. And shockingly, interest income outpaced inflation. But not today with 0% interest. This was 6% interest. So 0% interest schemes are not going to earn anyone any interest income. I feel sorry for people who are in retirement age who feel they have a nest egg that they can draw down and still generate some income because now all they're doing is drawing down the nest egg. So in 1994, I started with $3,600, a 6% interest rate for the period of two years it grew. So we started in November 1994. Each and every month, $18 in interest, $19 in interest, went beyond its two years, renewed it, similar 6% interest, and in 1998, and then by April, two withdrawals, 4448, 4448. The 0% interest of today is going to just encourage more people to park their savings into gold, which is good for the longer term, but can't always work out in a shorter term. So in 1994, I put $3,600 in the savings account and four years later this happens. But if I had put it in gold, 16 years later, that would happen. But if you wanna see some more stories and gold and silver coins, please watch one of our featured videos.